Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play here on Kallen. You might already know from the thumbnail, of course, but uh, if not, I hope my outfit kind of gives it away because today I would like to continue our bug catching with you. We have a little goal of completing our museum on this island during this Let's Play and the category that is most progressed until this point are the bugs. We are currently at 67 out of 80 bugs. I will also put um, a list or like pictures of all the bugs that we're still missing on the screen right now. Most of them actually are like September or October. So like they're bugs that appear in fall. So I feel like we might be able to actually complete the selection. And that is exactly the goal for today. So I think we're pretty much going to jump right to September, like around midday at some point and we're gonna see what we can do okay here we are in september this island is obviously not supposed to be a september island so this will be a little bit interesting but you know it, it has to be done the necessary things have to be done okay so let's take a look at this the things that we can catch during the season and time that we don't yet have are the monarch butterfly the migratory locust the rice grasshopper and the walker cicada i think all the other ones have a different month or a like different time of day um the only other thing we could get and i think that's going to be the hardest thing of today is fleas because yeah my villagers apparently no basic hygiene which is surprising to say the least uh and also not appreciated since i do need the bugs okay so we are going to be looking for some like grasshopper type stuff uh, something on trees. Do we have the red one already? Yeah, we only need like the damselfly, but that one is I think like winter more like. I think I'm gonna go more towards like some open fields and also I think I need to go towards where there's like some more flowers because we need the monarch butterfly, which is the orange one. Now the good thing about bugs at least is that you can see them, you know? So if we see the monarch butterfly, we just have to catch it and then that's it. We don't have to like just fish and hope that it's the right one. Oh, also we had a visitor today who we might just, might just quickly check out who that is. All right, well, you know, here we go. Ooh, I'll say it's a cutie. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Azalea is kind of a cutie. I do like her design with, you know, the flowers and stuff. Okay, and out here we are again. I wanna go to our like open parts of the map because I think that'll give us more chance of getting, getting like the grasshopper type things. Okay, wrong butterfly. Oh, lots of villagers over here. Yeah, so kind of over here. <gasps> Wait, butterfly, butterfly. There we go. Wait, that's the wrong one. I didn't want the orchid mantis, even though I think that one's actually harder to catch. I wanted to get the monarch butterfly. There we go. Yay. All righty. So we're only missing migratory locust, rice grasshopper, and the walker cicada. That one says it's on hardwood or cedar trees. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., which it still is, right? Yep. Oh wait, there is something grasshoppery over there. I just need to be careful because it is going to jump into the water. There we go. Okay, what is it? Because I can never tell with these. Oh, it's something new. Okay, migratory locust. Let's go. Ah, I love when these things work out. Okay, so the other thing is the rice grasshopper. I can literally not tell them apart though. I'm gonna have to hope for the best. After just saying, you know, it's good that at least you know what you're catching. I guess I don't always. Okay, do I see anything? Oh, I see something hopping over there. Okay, I'm gonna have to climb down and then hope it didn't like jump off the cliff. It didn't jump off the cliff. I was gonna say it totally did. Okay, is that the right one maybe? Is that the right one maybe? No, it's not. It's a long locust. Okay, never mind that. Okay, the rice grasshopper has like a very straight body at the very top and then some like brown spots in there. Maybe that'll help me, I don't know. Okay, and the other thing is like on trees, but I think only on fully grown trees. And to be honest, wait, there's something, there's something that hopped. Something hopped, but I don't think it's the right, the right one. No, that's not the right one. Long locust again. Um, Yeah, it only appears on like hardwood and cedar trees. And I'm pretty sure it only does that on fully grown ones, which to be fair, we don't have that many off. So I don't know how successful that hunt is gonna be. Oh wait, I see something or I hear something here. Actually, never mind. I think it might have been on that. <gasps> wait, I do hear something here, which is just a grasshopper. Okay, you know, close, but still not it. 
during our normal time like april the like the pears are pretty much the tree color now in september it is so so different oh my god see if the grass color was also this dark green like that could be used for beautiful like witchy islands and stuff but <gasps> wait wait mister i think you might be what i'm looking for please please hold no that might have been it i saw brown spots on its head so that might have been it i was too fast i was running i was impatient eh. You know how it goes. Okay, we have a lot of ants over here. We have butterflies, which we don't need all that. There's something flying up here, but I think this is the wrong one again. I don't see any brown spots. This will be the long locust again. Go away, shoot! But yeah, I mean, with this color difference of like grass and trees, it's kind of hard. Okay, I don't need you. Every time I do the bug catching, it makes me realize how few fully grown trees I actually have. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That might make it a little bit harder to catch them. Trying to complete, like, bug collections or any type of collections as a very impatient person is 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 really not the best. It is one of our goals, though, so we're... You know, if it takes me hours and hours and hours, we're still gonna do it. And then I hope I can cut it down a little bit so that y'all don't have to suffer uh, the same the same amount of time, you know? It'll be a bit of a shorter suffering. Oh wait, I see something up there, which does have a brown spot on it. I don't know if that's enough though, or maybe too much. Are you a rice grasshopper? I kind of don't think you are, to be honest. Are you? You are just a regular grasshopper. I don't, I don't see a difference. Actually, maybe I do, but still. Oh, I hear something again. I think you're just a grasshopper also, and I couldn't even catch you. And he dove off a cliff. Okay, that's not nice. And there's a locust over there. Okay, if you keep jumping off of cliffs, I'm not going to be able to catch you. This makes it a little bit hard, mister. Or missus. Or whatever. Yeah, grasshopper. Me. And you are a long locust, but I can't, like, I have to catch you. So, you know, you don't take up any of the spawn, spawn rate, I guess. But yeah, you know, to be honest, or Critterpedia... Looking pretty good. At least the buck section, we don't look at the others, okay? Honestly, I think they're kind of okay. I think the only one, you know, we haven't really fished that much. Um, but, you know, there was actually a fishing episode. If you haven't seen the first uh, or like previous few um, bug, fish, and art, I'm catching them fit anymore now. Um, but, you know, those episodes where we kind of hunted for everything that we were missing. No thinking! I don't have time for thinking. <laughs> rude uh then i will uh i will try and remember to link them below but we did do our bug catching before um apart from like the general kind of bug and fish catching when we first started this island we did do one bug catching episode we did do one fish catching episode and we also did an episode where i tried kind of looking for all of the art that red has to offer we definitely have to go back um i think we might do one more like art episode I'm hoping today will be like, you know, the final, oh, no, wrong one, <laughs> the final like bugs. And then I'm pretty sure we're going to have to do like more than one fish episode and then sea critters also. But yeah, having a complete museum will be, will be fun. Okay, there's jumping stuff over here. Long locust. Okay, how many more of these can I catch? Hunting for like specific one really makes you start hating certain bugs. <laughs> The long locust is now on my list, you know? Oh wait, there's something up there, but I believe it's only a grasshopper again. Yeah, I think this is a grasshopper. Excuse me. Yep, it is. The front part of like the rice grasshopper goes more like diagonally. I can't really explain it, but um, I think that's what it looks like. Okay, another long locust. Well, it, it, I'm good at catching these at least, you know. I don't think that's any, you know, that information isn't really useful to me, but I haven't like gotten anything on trees though, like nothing. So I'm, oh wait, there's something here. I think it's a grasshopper. Um, But I haven't gotten like anything on trees yet. So I'm wondering if there's just not that much in September or like if maybe my trees are somewhat like cl too close together or 
something like that for like spawning. We might have to go on a Nook Mile Island. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. All right, here we are. Not too many trees on this island. Actually, this is Money Rock Island, so I don't know how successful this will be. And then let me pluck the flowers so we don't have anything. I mean, I think those butterflies spawn regardless. But I'll just pluck the flowers so nothing like that can spawn. Actually, you know what? I think it doesn't make sense. I think it'll be it'll be better to fly to an island that has a bit more land in comparison to like just water. So yeah, on to the next one it is, I guess. All right, we do have a lot more trees here. This is, I think, looking a little bit better. Now we just have to hope that the stuff actually spawns. Okay, we got a dragonfly. We have a butterfly over here. Yeah, we might have to pluck these flowers because I think the monarch butterfly only appears with flowers. So plucking this might help a little bit uh, because at least it, it reduces that one spawning. It's just like one type of bug in the grand scheme of things, obviously, but yeah. All right, and then I think this is just going to be like walking from one side to the other and hoping for something to spawn. I'm not sure if like the space here is enough, but it should be. It should be. Okay, I'll grab everything I can find. So at least, you know, it's kind of like it It frees up the space to, to spawn something again, and then we'll see. Okay, right now, not much of anything spawns except for these yellow butterflies. Like, I haven't seen a single thing on a tree. That makes me, like, question it a lot. Okay, here's something on the ground, but I don't need this. Okay, there's a dragonfly. No grasshopper or anything yet. Okay, there's a pond skater. And the dragonfly, which I will just... I'll just catch them. Oh, wait. There is something there now. About to jump in the water, though. Okay, I think there's a grasshopper. Yeah, it's- oh no, wait, it's a migratory locust. Okay, that's the thing that we actually needed at the start of the video, but not anymore. <laughs> okay, there's like literally nothing here. There's like nothing spawning except maybe sometimes a dragonfly or whatever. I'm honestly kind of over it. Um, I'm gonna go to after I think 5 p.m. because I think there were a couple more things that we needed. Okay, it is 6.18 p.m. Uh, we could technically still find the rice grasshopper. We can find the cricket. We can find the bell cricket. Those are just on the floor. And I think that could be it. Anything else is a different, um, different month. Oh, wait, actually the walking stick is also a possibility. And of course, please. Okay, so my focus are going to be the cricket and the bell cricket. It's definitely a little bit of an interesting weather because I feel like it's not really super clear. Okay, there we have the bell cricket which I climb up, it jumps down, cool. That's not an issue. Is it still down there? It's still down there, okay. I have no idea where it is. I, I mean, I'm hoping for the best. And maybe it left, oh no, it's right there. Did it just jump into the waterfall? <laughs> there we go, okay. All right, I think my camera might have been a little unfocused in that second, I'm sorry. Uh, I found a bell cricket, okay, awesome. So the other one I need is the cricket and the walking stick is a little bit hard to find because it kind of like, it just kind of shimmers on the trees, I think. Okay, there's a butterfly here. I don't really see, that's what I mean. It's so dark and like, that's why I like said the weather is weird because it's like, it's almost clear, but it's not like a clear view, you know? All right, cricket. And I don't know, maybe the walking stick. No one is thinking. Oh my God, there's like five villagers in this one frame right now. Okay, I don't need you. Okay, let's check the area around the lake. Maybe there's something going on over here. Oh, we have a walking leaf over here. Don't need that though. Okay, there is the bell cricket again, which this one could jump in the water. But of course that one doesn't. Okay, cool. Oh, there's something down there. I think that is also the bell cricket though. Oh, we got some walking stuff here, but neither are the cricket. All right. It's always this brief moment of hope. <laughs> okay, there is something jumping here. <gasps> is this our rice grasshopper? No, this might be just a regular one. I'm not sure. <gasps> yeah, this is the rice grasshopper. Okay, very good. Whew, that was at least already kind of worth it, right? Okay, so cricket and technically maybe the walking stick, but the walking stick is kind of hard. It can be on any tree, but it's kind of hard to spot. And from my experience or from my, what I think I remember, they're not that common either. Oh my God, see this romance right here? 
I see it. <laughs> I see it. This music, I do have to say though, like the 6 p.m. kind of music is really nostalgic for me personally though, because I used to play, like when I played in two, uh, 2020, this was around the time I was actually playing the game a lot. Because I, I always played like after studying and everything, and that was usually around like 5 or 6 p.m. I think. So it, it, it feels, I don't know, feels very nice because I didn't time travel for the, like the very start of the game either. So I was always kind of stuck with this, with this lighting and like this weather. Wait, is that the cricket? I basically just heard it. I didn't even freaking see it, but I heard it. Okay, well, you know, there we go with the cricket. So, okay, do I look for the walking stick now or do I like try and just get the other ones? out of the way first. I think I'm gonna opt for the others out of the way. And then maybe I will, you know, stumble upon the walking stick at some point. <gasps> it's like right there. It's literally right there. Okay, butterfly, do not mess this up for me. The butterfly is gonna mess it up. Okay. Yes! Oh my god, let's go! Okay, that was a good, like, two minutes, you know? That was a good two minutes. All right, just a brief checkup to any of the villagers that I see, uh, if they have fleas, and then we'll make our way, I think, to September. No, not September, we are in De September, to December, so snow. I don't know how to feel about that, but we'll see. Okay, there were quite a few villagers here. Flurry does not have fleas, all right. We have T-Bone over here. <laughs> who is looking very cute but does not have fleas which i guess like those aren't you know you probably look cuter without fleas than you do with them i'm just saying you know okay daisy no fleas ate no fleas okay well whatever you know i think this might be another rice grasshopper i'm not gonna lie this is isn't that always how it goes okay so all the villagers that i could see did not have fleas great good for them you know uh, and we will make our way to snow covered december all right so isabel's mug is beautiful during this time it's not wintry at all it's very fall -y, but it's very cute and we're also getting uh the recipe for the ornament wreath perfect oh my god <laughs> Well, this is interesting. Actually, you know what? It kind of still has a bit of a magical touch to it with the blue and the pink. I still, I, I think these are colors that probably work like okay-ish with snow. This would look very different if this was like a cottage core, like dark brown island. All right, so we can find the damselfly by water. We can find the dung beetle, which will be pushing snowballs. And then the reason why I uh, went to like 8 p.m. is the fact that we can also find tarantulas which i really hope you know we don't <laughs> because i don't like them i'm like i'm very scared of spiders so that like just the thought of it alone kind of creeps me out but we still have to find it for our critterpedia so that's going to be the plan so i'm going to be careful about having my net out in the open because having my net also makes them like run up to me oh there is the um damselfly right there perfect very good very very good caught a damselfly so now we just have to kind of see if we can find a tarantula and or a dung beetle for the dung beetles we need to find our snowballs actually oh my god this is i have not played in the snow in a while <laughs> this is kind of an experience oh and the freaking snowflakes kind of mess up with our critters spawning i think so we're gonna have to run through those that's okay though yeah see this path doesn't look great I never know what to think of like dirt path on uh, like in the snow, even though it does kind of adjust it, you know, it would be nice if like this is where we can find a, uh, well, you know, dung beetle or tarantula both because this is where I can really see them very well. I don't know if if that's going to be where we encounter those, though. I haven't found my my snowballs in general just yet. Oh, wait, there's one right there. OK, we have one right by uh, Hornsby's house. Oh, and there's one here too. Okay, so I don't really know what the rule is for, for like snowballs and dung beetles, but basically every time I've played in winter, they uh, they kept like pushing them 
uh, like they kept pushing the snowballs around whenever I didn't want them to. But then when you try and look for them, they're nowhere to be found. That's usually the rule, I think, right? Yeah, and then I don't know how this like tarantula thing is gonna go. I don't think I can catch fleas during this time. I think they only appear until like November. But yeah, you know, I've seen worse islands in the snow, but for some reason I am a huge fan of clutter, you know, I really, really am. Um, and I think most of you probably know that. <laughs> But I believe like winter islands, I kind of also would keep somewhat more calm-ish in the sense that, <gasps> ooh, pretty butterfly. I might get that. I don't know why. It's just cute. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, it, just in, in terms of like not using as many codes, I think. Because I don't know. I feel like with winter, they just stand out a lot. Okay, there's a snowflake. Might also have to like take a break maybe at some point and come back later because also I still haven't uh, edited today's episode and it is supposed to go up in about three hours. So, you know. Okay, this one's not being pushed as of right now. Neither is that one. Hmm. Maybe let's push this into the water and then go somewhere and make a new one spawn. All right, we'll chase the snowflakes away. We still have this one over here, not being pushed, and the other one is now also here. Okay. Tarantulas also, like, they appear from November till April, so, like, maybe those are easier to get when there isn't, like, snowflakes around. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Okay, let's destroy this one and then make another new one. All right, some snowflakes. It's not where it was before. Oh, it's just moved like literally next to it. Okay. One thing I do love in the winter are the vines. I think they're so beautiful. Okay. Well, no, no dung beetles, no dung beetles, no tarantula so far. Oh, 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 it's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Okay. The other one isn't, so we need to be careful. <gasps> I was just going to say, I'll leave it running and just go. No, dung beetle, honey, stop. Yeah, there we go. All right. I won't lie though, from now on, I don't think it's going to be much fun. So we're still looking for the Walker Cicada, which is August to September. Um, we are looking for the Scarab Beetle, which is July to August. So August could be something we check out. Giraffe Stack, which is also July to August. The Flea, of course, which is April to November. So we could technically also find that during August. And then we're also still looking for the tarantula, which is November till April. So that is like a different time. But apart from that, we could maybe go to August. However, it is going to be like different times of the day. Um, and I think we'll do the evening things first. So like the giraffe stack and the scarab beetle are ones that we need. I'll do a little transition cut because I will edit some and then return to this. So I basically see you in like a second. For me, it might be like a few hours. All right, we are back. It is now, uh, what is it, 11.32. Oh, there's already a bug there, but that's not the one we need. So we are basically looking for the scarab beetle, which is kind of like a silver bug that can appear pretty much on any trees. And we're also looking for the giraffe stack that only happens to uh, appear on palm trees. Uh, so, we're gonna try our best, honestly. I think I might be a little bit out of practice with these um, bugs over here. And also I'm definitely gonna, uh, there's uh, shooting stars. I'm definitely gonna have to take these down. That wasn't the bug that we needed, luckily. But um, yeah, oh my God, wait, my pockets are already full. Oh, that's right. Okay, that is not the correct one, I think. I might make my way over to the museum in that case and then check if maybe we can already uh, donate all the stuff or not check if we can but like donate all the stuff that we've already caught that is like new and then we can get rid of everything else oh my god lots of uh concert goes here okay that is not the correct one love that little um owl moment there okay up to this point we have gotten the monarch butterfly the migratory locust uh the dung beetle the damselfly the walking stick the cricket the rice grasshopper and the bell cricket and then also i did still have the statue with me but we purchased that like a few episodes ago i think all right that should make the collection you know take a step forward honestly uh which is very exciting 
Um, and now I think our Critterpedia really only needs like a couple of things because we have filled it up so much. Okay, so that is the cicada thing that we were kind of not able to get earlier. Um, over here, we'll definitely have the tarantula. Uh, this will probably be the giraffe stack. This will be the, um, the beetle that we're currently looking for. And then this last one here is going to be the flea, which, you know, I'm still... <clears throat> It is August now, so fleas should be able to appear again. So we're just, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna check my villagers. We're gonna uh, hope hope for the worst, which would be that they're, uh, you know, plagued by fleas. See, that would have been a good moment, but none of these do have fleas, unfortunately. Ah, <laughs> oh, this was the first time I actually made a wish. Oh, how cute. Okay, there is something back there, but that's definitely not the correct thing. Should I make this, by the way, also a little bit easier for myself? Because I know that it's possible, but it's also kind of annoying to catch bugs back here. But I guess it's it's not that bad. It's okay. Uh, that, that was the Horned Atlas, which we have caught before. Okay, I don't really see any bugs around my house, I think. You know, at this point I have quite like a few trees, but they're also, so many of them are stunted and they're like scattered everywhere. So it's not that easy to find bugs on them, I feel like. Okay, there is a bug here, but that's not what we want because ours only appears on coconut trees or it's gonna be like silver. I do think that we can probably tell that is also not the correct one. Nope. And then, I mean, we definitely know that we need trees, which I guess is, is already kind of good because that way we can leave a few areas on the island out. It's just so much of me like running back and forth and just looking at my trees and then running back again and then going the other direction hoping something spawned it's like oh my god definitely not the ideal type of content for a let's play i feel like but you know it is our goal so we're gonna do it and if i have to like edit a bunch of stuff out in between i feel like that's okay right okay, that is not the one we need i don't think that's the one we need either i think that's just the miyama stack but i'm not sure i'm not sure enough oh saw stack okay I think the giraffe one has much longer, um, like, uh, I don't even know what you call them, but the things at the very top, I think those are much longer with the giraffe one. I don't know if the bugs on my island just don't like the trees that I've put up, but I really haven't seen like that many bugs in total, I think. And every time it's just this one here, I think, which is either the saw stag or the miyama stag, I don't... I forget which one can appear on uh, regular trees. Okay, there's something there, but again, I don't think that's the correct one. I don't even know if I can catch them here. I can, apparently. Okay, good. Yeah, that's the Miyama one. Okay. And my net. Actually, the first net that broke today, though, so, you know, not gonna complain just yet. That's also a Miyama stag, right? Oh, I... we'll never know. We will never know. I think this one is too. Yeah, Miyama stag. Not you. Oh, T-Bone is over there. We can maybe check T-Bone for fleas. <laughs> okay, we got something here. I don't, this is not the giraffe stag, I don't think. And I don't know if I can catch it here either. Also works. Nice. But that is the Miyama stag, yeah. I think the giraffe one has like these very, or not the longest horn, not like the, God, there's another one that has like really long ones or like the is it the jaw maybe i think it might be the jaw like yeah the cyclomatus stack that one has the longest horns but um the giraffe one still has quite like a decent length and i think it's kind of rare i i don't know actually though okay that is not the correct one you need to be uh silver instead of green never thought i'd say that T-Bone, do you have fleas? Negative. Nope. Unfortunately, my villagers really know how to take care of themselves, it seems. Okay, I was too hectic with that one, but it was one that we already had, so... <clears throat> Guess it doesn't really matter too much. Have I mentioned recently that I'm a very impatient person? I think I have. This is not the correct one. Um, and I'm just like wondering how long will I go? I haven't I've been here after my break for like 17 minutes now So not much and I'm just wondering how long will I go for you know before I like say okay We give up or or like I'll just continue this like while I sat on the sofa and then I'll give you an update or something But like I also want to do it, you know, okay once again It's gonna be the Miyama stack, right? This almost starts to be the sea bass 
the sea bass of bugs is the Miyama stag kind of but yeah I mean look at it and you you never yeah you're like never a hundred percent sure that it's really that one and not one you're looking for so you kind of like not always but you often catch it and then yeah okay, that's the green one that would have sucked if that was the actual one we needed I don't think I could have gotten there which is another reason for why we need to do this now. Like, the longer we wait, the more, like, cluttered this island will be. The harder it'll get for me to, you know, get, like, bugs from trees. That's a pretty nice one, but at the same time, I already got it, you know? And another one! Oh, this one is a saw stack? Okay. Still not what I want, though, right? Still not what I want. Oh my god, there's a giant bug up there, but it's also not what I want. There we go. I could have also already gotten so many like star fragments or like so many uh, falling like shooting stars. That's a word. So many shooting stars. I constantly hear the little sparkle. Here we go. At least like one of the two, you know? I mean, I'm not even asking to get like the flea or the tarantula like that, but at least one of those two. The fact that I already did like a full on bug catching video and I did so much like coconut tree stuff saw someone over there but i don't think it's the right one i think yeah that's the green one again um i, I did so much like coconut tree catching and and checking and whatnot and i haven't gotten the giraffe stack like a single time i'd probably tell you enough about it that's also not the correct one okay we got something over here again i think this is either miyama or saw stack though it is the saw stack. I think the saw stack already has like longer horns or, or like a longer jaw, but the giraffe should be should be even more than that. This one I think is saw stack, I'm gonna say. All right, I was wrong. It's Miyama stack. See, I can't tell them apart. I'm probably gonna see the giraffe one at some point and think it's a different one and be like, nope, bye. I think it's now like, it's almost midnight. So I think everyone just got up and is now like going home. Oh no, wait, actually Daisy's working out. I think the rest of them are going home though. Maybe not. Maybe a girly meet up here. Maybe the concert is just ending. I legit thought they were gonna go home, but nope. Okay, midnight. Now they're all still in Oh. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know, but they are like, they are best friends or more, who knows. They were very, very close right there. Okay, I'm gonna go to 5 a.m. because they should still be there at that point, but I feel like I need, I need like a bit of a different surrounding at the minute. All right, well, at least the music is very sweet now, you know? So maybe that'll cheer me up a bit. Well, this is already the wrong one here. <laughs> But I might, I might see a little bit better, you know, that might definitely be true because I feel like, especially with the lights here that kind of shine onto the monitor and everything and that kind of blind me a little bit. I feel like I don't really see all that well when I play during nighttime. Oh, here's all the star fragments. Okay, I am going to collect them because never mind. <laughs> I'm going to release some Miyama stags and then I'm going to collect them because I did earn them, you know. Oh my god, the same crew is kind of already up uh, at 5 a.m. And Red is here so early? You can't tell me Red is a morning person. I refuse to believe that. I think this one here is just as rare as the giraffe stack. Why are we getting this then? Because I don't want this. I want the giraffe one. I actually don't know though. It might be the gold stack because they're both like priced the same. Oh my god, look at that. We even get this giant one. Like it's almost a waste to let them fly, but also... Like, if I get a horned elephant, I should, you know, elephant, giraffe, you know what I'm saying? So I need like a walker cicada, but that is, I don't, yeah, it, it's just 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So it's not going to be this one, I don't think. No, that's an evening cicada. It is 5 a.m. Does it not have like a clock or something? I'm just doing it laps around the lake at this point. <laughs> Just circle around, hoping that, you know, the few trees that are actually fully grown will hold another bug. Always just this one here, though. 
And another one of those. Oh my God. All right, well, it's kind of already been an hour and I, it's already like seven. And at some point I think I'd like to get out of my chair and onto the sofa. So I might take this with me and continue the hunt a little bit. And then I'll check in with you or like I'll tell you about how that went. Uh, and if I got the rest of the stuff needed or maybe not. <laughs> Who knows? This might just take like 700 more hours. All of these are the wrong ones. Yeah, I think that might be good. Because otherwise I'd like, I'll just be sitting here in silence, like waiting for things to show up and eh. All right, yeah, let's do that. Oh my God. Okay, so I built up a bunch of coconut trees, as you can see, to hopefully be able to farm stuff. And I just now ran into the, I think the scarab beetle. It's been a, a very long time, so I better not mess this up. <laughs> Yeah, okay, good, right. So we have the scarab beetle at least. I'm still looking for a bunch of the other stuff. I'm gonna keep trying. 